City. It's time for Inner City Gospel with your host, Mr. Chedrick Cohen. Inner City Gospel. Inner City Gospel. Inner City Gospel. Inner City Gospel. Yes, bring him on that, you know, your music. Himself, Mr. Bobby Jones, how are you? Sir? I'm good, thank you. What, what would you like to say? <laughs> so you're here at the 46th Annual Dub Award. What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Mr. Chedra Cohens, and I am here with Richie Ramsey and Tony Young, writer, director, executive producer of the film called The Song. Let's talk about the song. Well, the song uh, is a story of uh, it's a uh, the works of Solomon, the writing of Solomon. It's basically a blend of Ecclesiastes and Song of Solomon. Right. That Richie's our writer director uh -huh. really took that and put it on film. Did an amazing job of doing it. Awesome. Now the need for film directors, writers, and producers that are presenting the Word of God in such a massive way to where we all can see it on the big screen. What does that mean to you? Well, you know, I think it's really important. Uh, as our culture uh, starts to consume media in all kinds of different Absolutely. ways, whether it be through their phone or their mm -hmm. television or computer, you know, I think it's important that the church learns how, how to engage our culture where they're at. And that's taking great stories, particularly biblical stories, like Song of Solomon and Ecclesiastes, and Absolutely. putting them on film Absolutely. in a way that communicates the truth of, of God right. and the truth of Scripture right. on, in a way that they're used to taking in story, media through story and teaching through that. And like I said, Richie did a great job of doing that. What saying about God in your songs? I sing about things that I'm passionate about. Like Rose. You know, sometimes I think about letting it go. Music. That way I can live right. And if I did sing, it'd only be because I had something to say. Marry me. I had a dream. About what? Your new song. I've been waiting on you to come along. See, I know it's on a page, but not the song. I'm proud of you. So now what? Enjoy. Have you heard of Shelby Bell? She's your new opener. Let's talk about your process. Yeah, they just approached me, City on Hill approached me a few years ago and just said they felt the time was right to do something inspired by the Song of Solomon mm -hmm. that would speak to, you know, the issues that book speaks to about Absolutely. marriage and intimacy and romance. And then as I studied more about Solomon, I really saw, I was really... Uh, captivated by Ecclesiastes right. and the search for meaning and fulfillment in that story. Mm -hmm. And so we just, over time, kind of came up with the idea of a singer-songwriter who, like Solomon, is chasing after wind, trying to find meaning and satisfaction in Absolutely. the things of this world and ultimately leaves them empty and longing for more. Wow. Now tell our viewers real quickly where they can see I'm sorry? Well, tell our viewers real quickly where they can see the song. It's uh, it's on iTunes or Amazon. Yeah. Uh, you can find it on streaming, even on, uh, it'll be on Netflix soon. Yeah, so, yeah, you can order it off iTunes or Amazon or yep. one of those. Cool deal. Guys, you've heard it here first. I'm your host, and you need to see this, the song. It's going to bless your life. We'll be right back after a moment.